Hey, Mr. Canistero here. In this video, we're going to learn how to add force vectors. We're going to use the method of linear resolution. We're going to do the tip to tail and the parallelogram method. And then we're going to use the method of components to solve for the resultant of two force vectors. So here I have two force vectors. I have a vector of, with a magnitude of 4 newtons going to the right and a vector with a magnitude of 3 newtons going to the left. What I'd like to know is, if I'm pulling with a force of 4 newtons to the right and 3 newtons to the left, what is the magnitude of the, of the net force? Well, what I'll do, I use the method of linear resolution and put them side by side. And I notice that I have a 4 going in one direction and a 3 going in the opposite direction. Therefore, my net force equals 4 newtons minus 3 newtons which equals 1 newton to the right. Great. So the question would be, what would happen if I had my vectors going in the opposite direction? What if, for example, I had my 3 newtons now also going to the right? Well, I would do my linear resolution again. I'd put them side by side. And I'd realize that since they're going in the same direction, we would add them together. Therefore, my net, my net force for this one would be 4 newtons plus 3 newtons, which is 7 newtons to the right. So here's another example of another force diagram. So in this case, we have four force vectors acting on the box in the center. We have the two ones, the two three newtons, one going down, one going up. We have a five newton force going to the right and a seven newton force going to the left. So this time I want to find the net force. Well, it's clear that we have the three newton and the other three newton have the same magnitude and are, and are in the opposite direction. Therefore, if we add those two together, they would cancel out. So the net force in what I'm going to call the y direction is zero. Therefore, that's net in the up-down direction, so the up-down direction equals zero. Well, what about the net force in the x direction or in the horizontal direction? Well, we have the five newton force acting to the right and the seven newton force acting to the left. So F net in that case is my five newton force to the right minus my seven newton force to the left, and I see that I have a negative two newton force to the left. So what I'm going to say is I'm just going to call that 2 newton force to the left. Because I said, I started out saying the 5 was to the right and I called 5 positive. So that's why the 2 is negative. So the last situation is when we have two vectors that are going that are not in line with each other. So in this example, we have a 4 newton force acting on a box to the right and a 3 newton force acting straight up on it. And we want to know what the net force is. And so this is kind of like the example we did in class where we had two people pushing on the ladder. So for this to solve it, we could do either a tip to tail diagram, or we could use a parallelogram method, or we could do it by components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to illustrate it with a tip to tail diagram. <clears throat> you can see that we already have the tip to tail drawn. So the result of these two vectors will be whatever the length of that is and whatever the direction of that is. So I'm going to label that at theta. So what we would do is we would do our tip-to-tail diagram, and we would graphically measure this distance right here with the ruler, and then this angle right here with the protractor. The other method we could do is we could use the parallelogram method. So what we could do is we could take these two and then draw parallel lines to them. So what I could do is I could take this one right here, I could draw a parallel line, bring it up, and I could take this, draw a parallel line, and our resultant vector would start from one end, the very first end, go all the way to the very end, and that would be our resultant vector. And again, we would measure the length and the angle of that. The last method would be the method of components. If we had a base of 4 newtons, and we had a y direction of 3 newtons, what we could do to find our resultant would be used by Pythagorean theorem. So we would do 4 squared plus 3 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. We'd find that to be 5 newtons. 
Then we would have to resort to trigonometry to solve for this angle. So if I know my opposite is 3 newtons and my adjacent is 4 newtons, I could say that the tangent of the angle equals 3 newtons divided by 4, four newtons. Therefore, theta of the angle equals the inverse tan of 3 divided by 4. All right, so there's how to solve for the resultant force using linear resolution, the tip-to-tail method, the parallelogram method, and the method of components. I hope that helps.